The following is a list of characters from the anime Space Runaway Idion. Topic: Solo Colonists. Topic: Cosmo Yuki. Cosmo Yuki is the male lead of Space Runaway Idion. Originally a teenager who lived on Solo with his archaeologist father, Cosmo is thrust into the role of mecha pilot when the Buff Clan attacked Solo. He is the pilot of the IDO Delta, Sol Conva, and the lead pilot of the Idion in its combined form. Although he has an occasional fight with BEs, Cosmo is a well-respected member of the Solo ship crew. With half his friends now dead and the situation gradually becoming bleaker, Cosmos Distraught turns into pure rage and determination, becoming the Ides' physical medium for its grim final purpose. With nothing left to lose, Cosmo conducts a last-ditch attack against the Gando Roa and the Beiraru Jin, resulting in the destruction of the Idian, Gando Rawa, Solo ship, and much of the Buff Clan fleet. Cosmo is reunited in spirit form with Kitty Kitten, a rebel who appears in one of the final episodes, and Kasha at the end of Be Invoked. When Kitty goes with another, Cosmo and Kasha head off together into their new eternity. Topic: <laughs> Be's Jordan. An Earth soldier stationed on Solo who becomes the captain of the Solo ship after the Buff Clan attack. Although BEs initially piloted the IDEO Nova, Solvena, he retires from piloting when it becomes apparent that younger pilots have more success with piloting the Idian. Although he occasionally quarrels with Cosmo and Cheryl, BEs is well liked and respected as the leader of the solo ship. BEs develops a crush on Kerala immediately upon meeting her and is quick to support her, even early in the series when she is distrusted by others among the solo ship's crew. The two eventually fall in love and Kerala becomes pregnant with Bess's child, although it is never born due to her death. In the final battle between the surviving Solo colonists and Buff Clan, Bees remains fighting against invading squads of Buff Clan troops on board the Solo ship. Though shot in the waist and in the neck, gradually bleeding to death, he remains the only person alive on the ship. Shortly after he dies along with everyone else as the Gando Roa's incredible power destroys the Solo ship. He is reunited in spirit form with Kerala in the end. Their son, Messiah, leads them and the souls of everyone else to a reborn Earth. <laughs> Kasha Imhoff A teenage girl who was friends with Cosmo on Solo, Kasha quickly becomes involved in the fighting when the Buff Clan launch their attack on Solo. Kasha becomes the main pilot of the IDO Buster, Sol Amber. Although a good pilot, Kasha is quite hot-tempered and aggressive which can get her in trouble at times. Like Cosmo, she at times conflicts with the opinions on the adults on the ship. She is also one of the people most critical of Kerala early in the series. As Idion draws to a close, Kasha relinquishes her piloting duties of the IDO Buster to deck so she can remain aboard the Solo ship and protect Kerala. During an intense exchange of fire between the Solo ship's crew and the Buff Clan, Kasha meets her fate after shrapnel from an explosion tears into her. After the final invocation, Kasha's spirit sees Cosmo reawaken with Kitty Kitten. After Kitty heads with another, Kasha and Cosmo head off together into eternity. Cheryl Formosa A linguistic scholar who had been investigating the sixth civilization on the planet Solo. Cheryl's primary interest is studying the Eid, the mysterious energy source that powers both the Idian and the Solo ship. She becomes quite obsessed with it at times, which leads to conflicts between her, Bees, Cosmo and Kasha. Cheryl also conflicts with Kerala early in the series. Nonetheless, Cheryl is a valuable crew member who is always willing to put herself in dangerous situations to find the answers to her questions. In the latter part of the series Cheryl befriends buff clan defector Gia Zarel, who shares a similar interest in the Eid. The two fall in love, but Gia is killed on the planet Stekken Star in the second to last episode. 
This, combined with the murder of her younger sister Lynn on the planet Aegean caused Cheryl to spiral into a state of despair and alcoholism followed by psychosis. In order to draw out the full potential of the Eid, Cheryl carries the infant Piper Lou onto the deck of the Solo ship while the Idian is fighting off both the Buff Clan and a large comet. Cheryl in grief, "...invokes." The Eid to show its true power by putting Piper Lou in mortal danger, taunting the invisible force if its strength comes from the suffering of the innocent. She receives her answer when the Idian fires its wave leader gun. The resulting shock wave from the blast kills her instantly, hurling her shattered body into space, though Lou survives the blast. As she dies, Gia pulls Cheryl's spirit out of her body, reuniting them prior to the final cataclysms of Be Invoked. Hartari Nabaru A pilot who survives the Buff Clan attack on New Lopia in the second episode and is one of the refugees who boards the solo ship. Hartari becomes a subordinate and confidant of BEs, even taking control of the solo ship's operations when BEs became ill. During the final battle with the Buff Clan in Be Invoked, Hartari manages to warp the solo ship to the Buff Clan's mothership, the Gando Roa. Sadly enough, he was shot in the side of the head and chest in the crossfire between the colonists and Buff Clan troopers aboard the bridge. <laughs> Deck AFTA A boy who is a friend of Cosmos and Cash's on Solo. He's generally seen with Rapapa, a tame two-tailed squirrel perched on his shoulder. Although just a young kid, Deck desires to become a pilot of the Idian and when Cosmo sees how dedicated he is to it, he allows Deck to become his co-pilot on the IDO Delta. As expected for his age, Deck is immature at times but for the most part gets along with everyone though gradually as the series progresses he begins to prove himself as a pilot, establishing himself as a predominant role in controlling the Idian. Deck is vaporized instantly from the blast resulting in the final battle between the Idian and the Gando Roa. He is reunited with the other children at the end of Be Invoked. Strangely, and harshly, enough, Rapapa's spirit form is never seen at the end of the film. <laughs> Jolliver Ira The engineer of the solo ship at first and throughout the series he doesn't put too much trust in Kerala, but during the movie Be Invoked he admits to having some love interest towards her. This is further proved after he protected Kerala from her father Dobba, sustaining a sword wound to the back, and dying later as he assisted the Idian during the final battle. After the final invocation, Jolliver surprisingly ends up with Haruru's subordinate Kalaru in the new universe. Topic. Mora Fatima A member of the Solo ship's crew, who serves as the main pilot for the IDO Nova for the majority of the series. He is romantically involved with the ship's doctor, Rapo. He is also seen chastising Fard on several occasions for his wimpy behavior, encouraging him to stand up for himself and become a man. He is eventually killed during a battle against the Buff Clan, and his duties as the pilot of the IDO Nova are passed on to Gia. <laughs> Banda Lotta A teenage girl from the planet Solo who becomes one of the civilian refugees aboard the Solo ship. Lotta's primary role aboard the ship is taking care of the young children along with Lin. Lotta becomes upset with Kerala and attempts to kill her since she is of the Buff Clan in the movie version she kills Kerala's servant Mayaya, although in the end she is unable to do it. In the movie Be Invoked Lotta stands a sentry when Harulu Ajiba and her bodyguards, Torilov and Kalarul, board the solo ship in a chaotic battle. Lotta kills Torilov with a rocket launcher and is shot to death by Kalarul promptly. She is reunited in spirit form with Lin Formosa at the end of the film. Topic. Fard Malika One of the children on the solo ship. He is the most timid of the children and is scolded by Mora for not toughening up. 
He is killed in the final battle against the Buff Clan, the only time he decides to become brave and face the enemy. He is shot by one of the Buff Clan soldiers. However, it is left to the audience on whether or not he dies before the solo ship explodes as he can be seen breathing after being shot. Fard is reunited with Ashura and Dek in spirit form at the end of Be Invoked. <laughs> Ashura Novak One of the young children aboard the solo ship. Ashura's parents were killed in the attack on New Lopia. She is the leader of the kids, and is often seen leading Fard and Paipalu in various activities. She doesn't understand very much the things that happen around her, but is often happy to help with any minor duties on the ship. She is killed in the final battle against the Buff Clan, when a blast of gunfire decapitates her. Paipalu A baby who is one of the refugees on the solo ship. As the youngest member of the solo ship crew, Lou is critical to controlling the Eid, which responds with more power to young children like Lou. In fact the Idian displays greater powers almost every time Lou is brought aboard. The Eid protects Lou and the children for they are of a new generation, representing the general innocence of children. As the series draws to a close and the true nature of the Eid becomes apparent, his survival becomes more critical to those aboard the solo ship. In Be Invoked, Lou is nearly killed when Cheryl carries him onto the deck of the solo ship, hoping to draw out further power from the Idian. When the power of a blast from the wave leader gun knocks him and Cheryl off the ship, Cheryl is killed, but Lou is protected by the Eid and returned to the ship. It is revealed that Lou and Carola's unborn child, Messiah, share a profound empathic connection, triggering enormous outputs of the Eid. Although he is the only character in Idion to be spared a death sequence, Lou is killed when the solo ship is destroyed in the final battle. Lou and Messiah lead the spirits of both races into the reborn universe. <laughs> Lin Formosa Cheryl's younger sister, who is often seen taking care of the children along with Lotta. She is killed in episode 37 of the series, while being held hostage by the colonists on planet Aegean, led by the unstable Commodore. She is shot dead as a demonstration that her captors are serious about killing the hostages unless the Solo ship and Idion are surrendered to the Buff Clan. Her death is avenged by Cheryl, who proceeds to gunning down Commodore. Lin is reunited spiritually with Banda Lotta at the end of Be Invoked. <laughs> Repo Famu The medic of the solo ship whose love interest is Mora. Along with Mora, Repo acts as a parental figure to the orphaned Fard. She is one of the last to die after being shot by a Buff Clan soldier in the final battle with the Buff Clan in Be Invoked. She's last seen in spirit form, clinging on hysterically to a reluctant Mora as they follow everyone to the reborn universe. <laughs> Bento Malice The co-pilot for the IDO Nova. Bento is killed when the Idian is hit with the first blast from the Gando Roa. Tekuno Gibari The co-pilot for the IDO Buster. Tekuno is killed in the final battle when the Idian is destroyed. <laughs> Buff Clan <laughs> Kerala Ajiba Kerala is the female lead in Space Runaway Idian. She is the youngest daughter of Doba Ajiba, supreme commander of the Buff Clan military. While investigating the Eid, Kerala heads down to the planet Solo against orders and becomes stranded there. After her alien origins are discovered she is held captive on the Solo ship, but her good-hearted nature leads her to becoming a regular crew member on the Solo ship despite her alien origins. 
Although early in the series the Buff Clan constantly tries to rescue her, she becomes known as a traitor to the Buff Clan for associating with the Earthlings. The one who despises her the most is her own sister, Harulu. Kerala and Bees fall in love and near the end of the series Kerala becomes pregnant with Bess's child, who is proclaimed Messiah by Cosmo and Kasha. Messiah is seen as the key to controlling the Eid and defending the solo ship against the Buff clan, perhaps as well bringing a possible future peace between both races. However, when Harulu boards the solo ship during a battle, she confronts Kerala only to then shoot her sister three times in the face. Despite her tragic demise, Kerala and Messiah remain as a strange ethereal influence as the carnage between the Buff clan and solo ship rages onwards. Gia Zaral The commander of the initial Buff clan search expedition that discovered the planet Solo. Gia is a friend and former fiancé of Carola's, and hence is gravely concerned with her safety after she heads to the planet Solo. Initially he leads multiple operations to rescue Kerala, and is later sent by Harulu to the Buff clan homeworld to perform further study of the Eid. After failing once again with the Buff clan military, Gia is enlisted in the OME Foundation, a private corporation that also seeks to capture the Idian. After multiple battles in which he fails to defeat the Idian, Gia is abandoned on the moon, but he sneaks aboard the solo ship during a battle. He befriends Cheryl, who shares a similar interest in the Eid, and the two eventually fall in love. Although initially viewed as untrustworthy, Gia eventually becomes an official member of the solo ship crew and pilots the IDO Nova after the death of its pilot, Mora. Gia is killed in a battle with the Buff clan on the planet Stekken Star in episode 38 of the television series. In Be Invoked, Gijez's spirit pulls Cheryl's spirit from her body after she is killed in her foolish attempt to use Piper Lu to invoke the Eid, allowing for them to spend eternity together. Harulu Ajiba The elder sister of Kerala, and daughter of Doba, supreme commander of the Buff clan military. A high-ranking member of the Buff clan military, Harulu leads the pursuit of the solo ship and Idian for much of the first half of the series. She views her younger sister as a traitor to the Buff clan and despises her. Harulu's former lover was Daram Zuba and while she doesn't seem to pleased with him in their soul meeting in the series, she mourns his death and even goes as far to have a buff clan officer assassinated when she laughs at a video of him. When Harulu discovers that Kerala is pregnant with a baby that is the key to controlling the Eid, she personally leads a team into the solo ship, where she murders Kerala. Her father Dobba gives her command of the entire buff clan army, but in the battle she is killed by a blast from the Idian's wave leader gun. Dobba Ajiba Supreme commander of the Buff clan military. Dobba is the father of both Kerala and Harulu. Like Harulu, Dobba despises Kerala for abandoning the Buff clan and doesn't care whether she lives or dies. Although he is largely absent for most of the TV series appearing in only three episodes, he comes out of the woodwork near the end after his underlings repeatedly fail to defeat the Idian. Dobber commands the Buff clan forces from his flagship, the Biral Jin. Intent on not only defeating the Idian, but also taking complete control of the Buff clan, Dobber conspires with Gindoro Jinmu of the OME Foundation to overthrow the Buff clan emperor, Zawu Habel Gande, when the battle is over. This becomes meaningless however when the Buff clan home planet is destroyed by a meteor shower. Dobba is eventually killed by his own soldiers when he makes it clear that the Idian must be defeated, even if it results in the death of the majority of the Buff clan. Oddly enough, Dobba is paired up spiritually with Emperor Zawu at the end of Be Invoked. <laughs> Damido Pechi One of the officers in charge of the initial expedition that results in the discovery of the planet Solo. Damido is a colleague of Gijez and along with him pursues Kerala early in the series. Damido is much more aggressive than Gia and appears to be more concerned with wiping out the enemy than rescuing Kerala. 
He is put out of commission for a while after a battle with the Idian, but when he returns he takes the opportunity to immediately strike the Idian again. His battle ends in failure yet again, and he perishes in this battle. In the movie version Damido has a much smaller role and is killed in the initial battle on Solo. After the final invocation, he is paired with Mayuyu. Darum Zuba An officer in the OME Foundation who was also a former lover of Harulu. Darum assists Harulu after her Darawa Zan is destroyed in a fight against the Solo ship. He also leads the pursuit of the Solo ship on the planet Kyaral, and later to the Earth sphere. Darum betrays Gia by abandoning him on the moon, frustrated with his constant failure to defeat the Idian. Gia gets his revenge by shooting Darum in the head during a duel with Cosmo on the Earth. In the movie version Darum is not a member of the OME Foundation, but rather a member of the regular Buff Clan military. In the movie, a contact, he died alternatively when his ship was blown up by the Idian swords. Darum is reunited in spirit form with Harulu at the end of Be Invoked. Gindoro Jinmu Leader of the OME Foundation, a private corporation that conspired with Doba to overthrow the Buff Clan Emperor. Gindoro teams up with Doba at the end of the series after the OME Foundation fails to defeat the Idian. After the Emperor's death he remains with Doba for a period of time, but then requests to return to the Buff Clan homeworld, unaware that their home planet was actually destroyed. With the battle escalating, Gindoro tries to flee and argues with Dobber, which results in him being killed. His spirit talks to Dobber shortly after his death. <laughs> Zo Habel Gande Grand Emperor of the Buff Clan. For reasons never explained, Dobber desired to overthrow him. A very minor character who only appeared in one episode of the original TV series, Zoe is killed when meteors destroy the Buff Clan homeworld. <laughs> Abadid Guramaid The initial commander of the Buff Clan investigation of Logo Dai Solo in the initial episodes and the main commander watching over Kerala, Mayuyu, Gia and Damido has a wife and child who he wishes to return home to. Ultimately is killed on planet Crystal Star, which he was forced to return to in pursuit of the Idian after a previous expedition lead to the destruction of his entire crew. In the end complained that he merely got a fool's death for ironically returning and being killed by the inhabitant creatures on this world. Geba. <laughs> <laughs> A subordinate of Harulu who was ordered by her to humiliate Kerala when she reunited with her sister. He dies piloting a Zigmak in episode 14, trying to defeat the Idian. Doku Jilbal Rukuku Kill An officer in the Buff Clan military, with loyalties to the Emperor. She is sent to the Earth Sphere to defeat the Solo ship and Idian after the OME Foundation fails to do so. As a member of the military, she is rather arrogant towards Darum, but nonetheless allows him to fight under her command. Harulu sends an underling, Kalara Kina to spy on her and when she finds an old video of Darum and laughs at it, Harulu has her assassinated. Topic Hannibal Gen Topic Other Characters Topic Kitty Kitten A teenage girl who Cosmo meets on the colony planet of Kyaral. Kitten is responsible for taking care of many of the orphaned children on her planet. She desires for the Solo ship to leave their planet so the Buff Clan will leave them alone, but decides to help Cosmo and the others in their quest for supplies. 
She and Cosmo become good friends and Cosmo falls in love with her. Kitten is killed when she is shot by Darum Zuba, who had fled to Kyaral in an escape pod after a battle with the Idian. In the movie version she dies when she is decapitated in an explosion. Her death greatly traumatizes Cosmo. <laughs> Marshall Franklin Commodore The leader of the planet Aegean after it is devastated by the Buff Clan's light speed missiles. Commodore blames the Solo ship for this occurrence and teams up with Guldabradron of the Buff Clan when the Solo ship returns to Aegean. He tricks BEs and the others when they arrive and takes hostages of all the civilians on the ship, killing Lin when BEs and the others don't immediately surrender. When BEs and the others arrive to rescue the hostages, Cheryl steals Bess's gun and shoots him. Gia puts him out of his misery. <laughs> Camula Lambin A female officer in the military base Brazilla. She is the woman who calms Cosmo down after a fight with the Buff Clan. Camula Lanban's personality traits and looks remind Cosmo of his mother. Her death motivates Cosmo's urge to fight. Topic: <inaudible> Messiah. The hybrid unborn child of BE's Jordan and Kerala Ajiba. Messiah's existence is revealed when Kerala and Jolliver are transported by the Eid to the flagship of her father Doba Iba, the Bayraru Jin. When she announces that she is pregnant with Bess's child, the series of events that unfold will lead to be invoked's tragic ending. Even though in the womb, Messiah demonstrates enormous influence over the Eid such as producing miniature protective fields around his mother and anything within its range, and is capable of communicating with Piperlu in a manner of telepathy. Such abilities lead to Cosmo and Kasha dubbing the child, Messiah. As it seems he and Piperlu could be the trump cards in manifesting, if not controlling the Ides true strength. Messiah seems to also represent a possibility of peace between the Terrans and the Buff clan, but his mother's death at the hands of his aunt prevent his physical birth from ever becoming a reality. After the destruction of the universe, Messiah spiritually leads the survivors of both races onwards to enlightenment, as their naked souls all collectively join to be reborn and witness the creation of a new universe.